Hi, um, in this video I'm gonna show you how to secure your Nginx web server with Let's Encrypt. And it's incredibly easy. You just need to install the one single package, it's called CertBot, on your Ubuntu server. And you can get the initial certificate, you can, uh, it can even update the Nginx configuration for you, you don't need to do anything. Also, it's very convenient that it has ability to integrate with a cron job and when you run it, it's gonna create the entry in your cron job. It's gonna run every 12 hours and you don't need to worry about, about anything. So you just need to run it once and you're all set. And uh, certificates from the Let's Encrypt are usually valid for 90 days. And that's why you need that kind of automation uh, that you can automatically update your certificate every, I would say, uh, 60 days. And uh, in our previous video, I show you how to install Nginx on Ubuntu 24. And like I said, it's very easy to use uh, Package Manager apt and install it from the uh, rep repository. In this video, we're gonna continue working on the same Ubuntu server. And I want to show you what I've done in that video. So I created that Ubuntu server and I'm using AWS and I updated my A records and I also purchased my domain through the Google domains and I, in order to use uh, my own domain, I have to update and create two records. One of them is for uh, DevOps and another one for www. Okay, I'm just SSH to my Ubuntu server 2004. And the first thing that I want to do is to use app package manager to install CertBot. And in order to do that, I'm going to run the following command. Let's go ahead and install it. And we're going to say, do you want to continue? Yes, of course. Let's continue. Like I mentioned pre in previous lesson, in previous video, I already created the separate entry in Nginx configuration. So it's a server block and I have my server name devops by example.io and www.devopsbyexample.io and just to verify we can go ahead and uh, try to visit it through the browser. Let's use incognito mode, let's go here and we can see that uh, it works but unfortunately it's not secure just yet. So the next step to secure our Nginx, we're gonna run the following command. So, and well, it's a good practice uh, to verify that uh, Nginx configuration is correct by running Nginx-t and it's gonna tell you if the syntax is okay and if the test was successful. And in our case, it was successful. So let's continue and then since we already installed Certbot, we just need to run one single command, like I said. And that command is certbot and Nginx is the plugin for certbot that is um, add functionality to be able to locate that uh, server name block in Nginx and also modify uh, Nginx configuration. So we're gonna provide two uh, DNS names. So the first one just devos by example.io and the second one www. So let's run this one. And it's gonna ask a few questions. And the first one is uh, you actually need to enter your email in order to um, get notified if something wrong with your certificate. And especially uh, it's important if the validation if the renewal is failed and your certificate is about to be expired. So Let's Encrypt actually will send you email and I highly encourage you to use your uh, real email here that you can get actually alert and react on that alert. I'm gonna use uh, my example and it's gonna be DevOps by example dot io here you go the next step you need to agree and i'm gonna agree would you be willing to share your well it's up to you i'm gonna share it and i think the next one 
Well, yes, and also I want to mention that there are multiple ways how you can obtain and prove that you actually the owner of that particular domain. One of them is the HTTP, and in that case, um, it's gonna create an arbitrary URL on your Nginx web server, and Let's Encrypt will try to validate that this URL actually exists, and if it exists, it will actually, it's gonna be the proof that you own this particular domain. And that's why Let's Encrypt will issue the certificate for you. Another one that I, I personally use is DNS. DNS check, but not here, but in general. I like to use that one. And the way how that works, you actually need to um, create some TXT record for Let's Encrypt. And Let's Encrypt will query your DNS, uh, will find that particular TXT record, and it will validate it by DNS. And I like that method much more. And um, okay, the next step. Well, um, well, it's asking me, do I want to redirect uh, HTTP traffic to HTTPS? And yes, of course I want. So I'm gonna pick uh, two. And in that case, it will actually obtain those certificates and it will modify my existing Nginx configuration. So we can actually validate it. So let's check. So this is our DevOps by example configuration file that we created earlier. And if we're gonna open it, we can see that there are a bunch of other modifications that Certbot has made. So it added a bunch of stuff here and also the redirect. And let's close that. And let's verify that actually it works. So let's grab our domain DevOps by example .io. Let's go to the browser. Let's open incognito mode, new incognito window, and type HTTPS, and it should work, yeah, it works. You can see that log, and if you click here, and then the certificate, it will tell you that the certificate was issued by Let's Encrypt, and it, it expires in 90 days, on December 22, and you can see other information about that certificate. So that's pretty much it. And also I forgot to add that, well, the, the certificate, like we just verified that actually under the certificate, you have this valid certificate. But I also mentioned that uh, you don't need to do anything else besides this point. So because it actually created the cron job. And if you want to see where it is, you can also run scat etc cron dash d and then you gonna see your servot cron job and you can see that it's gonna run every 12 hours so that means uh, your certificate not gonna be expired so the servot will take care of it and also you can run this particular command and you you're not gonna see any errors, that means everything is good. The command is serve boot, renew and dry run, dry run, actually not to renew the certificate, just to verify that it can renew it. And if you run this program, and it's gonna look okay, that it means everything is fine. Yeah, everything is fine. And I have a favor to ask. Can you post any question regarding DevOps and my next video about that question? Thank you for watching.